Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with an unboxing of a new release from Muni Made. If you guys haven't checked out Muni Made before, I've unboxed a number of their kits and accessories on my channel. Um, they started out and are possibly most well known for their diamond painting trays, which I am a huge, huge, huge fan of. Um, they're absolutely wonderful. But uh, in the past, I think, year or so, they started releasing diamond paintings and I've completed a couple. I'll be sure to have the review videos I've done on those linked below so you can see how absolutely beautifully they turn out. They make an incredibly high quality product that I'm so happy with. And I did, I bought this one myself on release day. I had my alarm set and I was there with everyone else ready to try to use those fast fingers and get, and, and I was lucky enough to snag this one right at release. It is currently sold out, but it will be restocked. So what I have to share with you guys today is this adorable new release by Cat Fedora is the name of the artist. And the name of this particular piece is Nightfall. Uh, I believe the other piece that was released is still in stock. It has an elephant. I don't remember the name. And by the way, if you see Cat Fedora's artwork at multiple small shops, that is okay. Everything is fully licensed and above board. Um, some small shops just share licensing for the same artist and I love it. I'm here for it. So, um, excuse me for copying. Um, I did go ahead and open this up and I just pulled out my invoice, but I have not unwrapped it any further. On top here was this thank you card with a little note from the owner on the back. And there are a couple of optional add-ons for, for your Muni Made kit that I decided to forego, but I do want to mention as I get into this. Uh, so, well, but first, let me show you. Okay, so we're all, let's, let's see. I think we just have to pull this out. It's all wrapped up together. Oh, okay, sorry to bump you. So there's this cute, is this like a little flower lay? That's so fun and so summery. She always includes these cute, like seasonal and, uh, and on theme freebies, which are fun. Uh, so here it was wrapped. Oh, I see a business card. There's the Muni Made business card. Diamond painting and other crafty goodies. There's their socials. Now, the Muni Made family just had a baby. There's an adorable picture when you go on the website right now. Um, and so if there are, you know, a little bit of delay in terms of um, shipping or, or when some of their releases happen, I think we can all understand that, right? <laughs> so, okay, the kit came in this sealed bag here and one of the optional add-ons is that you can get a sleeve and it's they, there's a couple of different color options and I think that they just pick the one that kind of matches the kit. Um, and uh, you can add that on for an additional cost and you can also choose to add on uh, one of their premium toolkits. And Muni Made trays are kind of tricky to get your hands on because they are highly, highly popular and they are just a really, really small family owned business. And uh, so one of the easier ways to get your hands on their 3D printed trays is that they do offer coordinating premium toolkits that you can add on to any one of their diamond paintings. And it always includes a coordinating color in either the large or the small tray. You just gotta look at the listing to see exactly what you'll be getting. But that's a really good option to try out their trays if you haven't already. So here is the artwork, Nightfall. Again, the artist is Cat Fedora. And I just, you guys, I love how cozy and, and colorful this one is. The way that there's different details throughout kind of reminds me of Beauty and Chaos, which is a kit by a different artist that I did from Muni Made a little bit earlier this year. And so that and the colors and everything just really drew me to this kit. And it's only offered in the one drill shape. This one is in round drills. Some of their kits are offered in square drills, but here's that gorgeous canvas. Let me flip it sideways. And this happens <laughs> with and really any canvas from any diamond painting company you'll often see this happen if it's wanting to roll in on itself. That's just because it's, you know, it wants to hold its shape after it was wrapped around uh, for packing. Uh, so I'm just going to roll it backwards the opposite direction. Muni Made uses poured glue on her canvases and the canvas material is really excellent. So this is completely safe to do. You can usually tell if a canvas has poured glue here because it has a clear plastic cover. So, oh my gosh, what gorgeous artwork. Look at all those little details, you guys. It's so cozy and happy. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me show you what else was included really quick in here, and then I will take you on a little tour of the canvas. But 
rolled up in here with this. We had a big pack of diamonds, which we will look at those in just a little bit. And then we had included, okay, here we go. First, there's a note here from Muni Maid. Some really helpful and um, some nice notes here. So feel free to take a look at that if you wanna pause. And then, does it have printing on the back? It does, okay. And then their policies and their upcoming changes listed here on the back as well. So you're also gonna get this larger sticker sheet. There's their branding, Nightfall by Cat Fedora. There's a spot to write your certain end date. And then there's that really, really cozy and colorful original artwork. I love how colorful it is. Round diamonds. This kit is 60 by 75 centimeters. So that's a pretty good size. It's not small, 23.6 by 29.5 inches. And then over here, you guys, this is a set of pre-cut sticker labels for you. And I love that we actually have two options. You can kind of see we have, this is a full rectangle sticker here. It's not cut, in, each of these are not cut into individual squares. Uh, but then you do have the option of this, this smaller individual circle right there, depending on the storage containers, if you use storage containers that you use, sometimes having just that tiny little symbol to put on there can be really helpful. So that's a fun inclusion. And I don't see that with a lot of companies. Uh, 51 colors in total. The color code system you see in this right column is the DMC color code system. It comes from the DMC brand of floss. And you'll see that uh, mostly across the board with a couple of exceptions, but most companies do use that color code system. It looks like with Muni made uh, here at the bottom, we do have some AB colors listed, one, two, three, four in total. ABs are a special kind of diamond I'll tell you more about. After we're done looking at the kits, once we get to the diamonds, I'll be sure to tell you all about AB diamonds, I suppose. Uh, so <laughs> first, let's take a little look at some of the different features of the canvas. We have branding at the top for Muni Made. Then if you look at the edges of the canvas, we have some finishing and some scalloped edges. You shouldn't have to worry about any fraying with their canvases. I never had an issue with the ones I completed. And the backing, sorry, I have a black cat. And I swear, it's like we just call it cat glitter. <laughs> it's everywhere. Um, that was not from Muni Made, that, that's me. Uh, so the backing is this kind of short lint, soft lint canvas, but it has a really nice weight to it. It's not like that really papery thin kind. Um, it holds diamonds really well and lays flat really well. And I can say that once you've completed paintings, it, it holds and, and lays really beautifully as well. Uh, so we have the schematic up here at the top right, the so thumbnail and the size, the unit number. And then we do have a legend that goes all the way down the side. You know, on a canvas this size though, I'd probably recommend, well, we do have legends on both sides, the top right, bottom left. Maybe, I, you know, I probably am not gonna try to look at the legends, I usually don't, but especially on bigger canvases like this, it's nice to just use the, the sticker labels on either the baggies that they came in or whatever storage system I'm using. So that I just look at the symbol on the canvas and then go find the symbol on either the bag or the storage container. And I don't even have to, I never use the legend that way. It just kind of cuts out a step. Anyway, here at the bottom left, we have a thumbnail, another slightly larger thumbnail, the title, the size, and then copyright. So I mentioned this briefly earlier, but Muni Made has all of their artwork legally licensed from their respective artists. And that means that in this case, Kat Fedora has both given permission for the use of her artwork by Muni Made and is being compensated for it. And this is super, super important to me that everything is above board. And I feel really confident about what Muni Made is doing and love that she's doing right by artists. Like I said, if you see Cat Fedora's artwork at more than one small shop, it is above board. <laughs> they support each other, they support each other. Uh, so this is from meanymade.com and they I like that they include the handle, the Instagram handle for the artist. That's a really nice inclusion. I'll also have the artist's Instagram linked in the description box of this video. Please go and support the artist too. So looking at the canvas, you can see the symbols, some of the symbols we'll be working with here. Um, was the first kit I did from them rounds or have I only done squares? I think the first kit had round diamonds and then, yeah, and then the second one had squares. No issues with either. Excellent quality diamonds and experience with both. And this kit, you guys, has a decent amount of what I would, yeah, that's color blocked. So color blocking is when you have several of the same symbol in a small area, so you'll be able to multi-place your way through there if you like. You'll have that color in your tray for um, a bit longer than if you're doing a lot of uh, confetti. Uh, a good confetti example, let's find one. Uh, maybe some areas in here, kind of. <laughs> Even then, that's kind of minimal as far as confetti goes. I'm gonna try to find a better example. 
I suppose maybe over in here, a lot more color changes in a small area and a little bit more in the way of like single placing, but even that is not bad confetti at all. <laughs> so it could just be kind of Cat Fedora's art style that it sort of lends itself to a bit more of this kind of color blocking. So that means color blocking does tend to go a little bit faster, like I said, but with confetti, you tend to get a little bit, you, you get that payoff when there's like really highly detailed areas, like maybe some of the shading and the leaves over here and stuff like that. But I think it's kind of hanging, hanging plants or hanging herbs. Look at the space in the background. I love how it's stylized. It's so pretty. And then the curtains over here are just these, yeah, these are curtains, are just oodles of color blocking. The printing is really clear. I remember I didn't have any issues with the printing on the canvases that I've completed before, um, at least not to my memory. Every once in a while, sometimes when you see like a um, black printed symbol on a dark background, sometimes, you know, just depending on, on your eyesight, I suppose that might be tricky, but I mean, I think it's printed pretty clearly and I don't use a light pad, but if you do, you know, that could make that easier if it's at all a struggle for you. But I'm finding that it, it, it seems to be printed pretty clearly and uh, with no trouble to see the symbols at all. Um, my apologies for that clear, but look, we have a little kitty and then a little doggo, almost looks like a wolf. And then just all these pretty little details, all the books and everything. So cozy, so happy. Okay, before we look at the diamonds, let me do a measurement. Oops. I always like to check just to see. All right, we're at 74 centimeters that way, which we're listed as 75, not a huge deal. And then we're at almost 60 on the nose. So I'm gonna call that true to size. I tend to give companies one to two centimeters of wiggle room um, anyway. So yeah, we're gonna call that one true to size. Okay, let's take a look at these diamonds, which came in this nice long package here. There is this sticker with this, uh, this kind of unit number here. And I do believe that, yeah, it matches up. There's a unit number on the top right of the canvas by the schematic that does match up with that. So if you store the canvas, um, in its own spot and the, the drills in another spot, it'll be easy enough to match them up again later. It looks like in here that they are in DMC slash legend order. Yeah, you can see. Uh, so that first number, one, two, three, four, five, et cetera. Uh, that's gonna match up with obviously your color list, the number here in the left-hand column, and then the dash, and then the, the, the next number after that's gonna be the DMC code. The letter A, I don't know, I don't know what, what specifically that denotes, that's okay. So lots of shades of blue and purple. I'll try to keep these in some semblance of order here because they've been packed and kept in order so nicely, so that'll make kidding up go quickly. Now these do come in these resealable Ziploc bags, which a lot of people like to work out of resealable bags like this. More power to you. I find that I'm too klutzy and I spill diamonds everywhere when I do. Uh, and occasionally I'll find that diamonds that come in these Ziploc or resealable bags like this are a little bit more static prone. I'm not seeing a ton right here at first glance. Usually you can tell if diamonds are staticky because you'll see them just kind of freely clinging to all areas of the bag. but not seeing it too badly too badly in these but if you do run into static which is highly climate dependent it's not something i i hold against small shops um if if you do run into static um then i recommend cutting up a, a dryer sheet into small squares and tucking some of those squares in the bags and just kind of like shake and move them around that usually helps quite a bit three bags of 939 which is really dark blue Look at this, you can see some of the sparkle on those, kind of a twinkle effect. Um, from what I can tell, just looking at these in the bags, the quality looks good. And I don't have any complaints about the drill quality from the other kits that I've completed. Again, one was, yeah, I'm 99% sure. One was round and round, one was square. Um, again, I'll have those reviews linked below. Look at those pretty pinks. That's my jam. <laughs> And then I really wanna get here towards the end, we should have our A, B colors. Let's just skip, let's skip to those, okay? All right, so here we have 
four AB color diamonds here. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these are named after the Northern Lights, which have a shimmery, uh, iridescent effect. Look at the sparkle on those. So these diamonds actually have an extra sparkly coating on the top uh, that's just that much more <laughs> than regular diamonds are. And you can see it kind of reflects not just the base color, uh, but a kind of a rainbow of colors, really gorgeous effect. And the areas these, that these have been charted, it's really gonna highlight those areas and draw your eye to those areas. Um, and so we do have, it looks like two shades of green and then a pink and a white. Let's find where those ABs are going to go. So the symbols we're looking for over here, We've got our two green ones and the pink one and the white one is a check mark. Okay, so we have the lighter green. There's a little bit of a sprinkling of it down here in this book. And then we've got the darker green here. Is that a plant? And here as well, there's a little bit of the darker green. And we've got, they're, they're small bags. So I think they're just gonna kind of be distributed throughout. Okay, this book is all light green ABs, this particular book. And then, let me see, where is that? Ooh, okay, so you see there's these white dots over here kind of sprinkled throughout, like dust motes or just like magic motes. Uh, those are white ABs, all the white dots you're seeing, white ABs. And then we've got uh, some more white ABs sprinkled right here. Those white dots are white ABs. A little bit, just like a half dozen or less here at uh, where the, her knee is. And it's kind of where the, imagine where the moon is reflecting off of that a little bit. Here, in these flowers, there's this black dot. It's the lightest pink you're seeing in camera is the pink AB. It's kind of all throughout these flowers. That's really pretty AB placement too. And then we've got um, in some of these leaves up here, the darker green you see in camera as we go up, that is the darker green AB. It's all in these leaves going up. I don't see the lighter green in those, but over here in these books, the lime green you're seeing in both of these books is the lighter green AB. And then I'm convinced I'm missing more of the pink AB because all I saw was in this flower in these flowers down here. But no, I think that's I think that's the only spot we have the pink ABs, but I think that's gonna in these flowers, sorry, I think they might have been glare. Uh, but that'll that'll pop really pretty against the background, I think. And then when we get to the moon, the moon is mostly made up of white ABs. And then some of these stars, these stars and up here, and some of the white dots in the background are white ABs, which I feel like white ABs, they just, yeah, no, they're stars. They look like stars. That's so perfect. And then over here, we have more of those kind of dust moat, those white dots through there are white ABs. And if you come over here, um, just some of these areas, these white dots you see sprinkled are the white ABs as well. I love a white AB and I like that placement a lot. I think that's going to be really, really pretty. Uh, now, what last thing I want to do um, is to go ahead and put up a picture of this whole thing in frame because I just realized you really haven't otherwise seen the entire canvas in frame other than when it was sideways. So take a look if you'd like to see that. I'm telling you what, in person, this looks so pretty. It's very cozy. It's just, I think it's gonna be one of those pieces that's gonna be really enjoyable to work on, in particular, like I said earlier, because each time you open up a section, you're gonna be working on something different and detailed with the different books, with the different kind of accessories and decor she has in her home. When you do the section with the cat and the dog and then more books and, especially these space elements in the background. I am so looking forward to doing those. So I think that this kit is going to be just generally really relaxing and serene to work on very much the the mood of the piece I feel like is what the experience of working on it is going to be like. So anyway, you guys, this is Nightfall by Cat Fedora and it's a new release from Muni Maid. Um, this did sell out pretty quickly upon release, but I know that she is planning to have it restocked. So be sure that you are following Muni Maid's socials. Um, that's where they post updates, particularly the Facebook group can be helpful. And 
Twitter or whatever Twitter is now <laughs> uh, can be good spots for updates. But I'd say definitely the Facebook group for general, like, you know, release info and stuff like that. So anyway, you guys, uh, what do you think? Did you snag one of the new Cat Fedora releases? Um, and if not, is it on your wish list? I bet that there are going to be some more as well. And I can't wait to see what else Muni Made comes up with. Um, they do, by the way, they hand chart. They do a lot of hand rendering of these pieces, which means that a person is going in and, and looking at the artwork and really deliberately choosing like, okay, this is how we're going to have these colors here and these colors here. And when you see a rendering like this one, where I was pointing out with the different, um, the, the quite, quite a number of different, um, areas with color blocking, that typically means that a, a real person has gone in and done some, some charting and some tweaking to make it um, look a little bit cleaner. So if that's your style as well, then this might be for you. So I know that Muni Made does have a number of other kits in stock at the moment and the quality and the features you're seeing here are going to be consistent across the board. So take a look at her other kits as well. Um, if you want to do some shopping, even though this one isn't in stock, but hopefully we'll be back soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting a closer look at this kit with me. Um, and I will hopefully get to work on it at some point soon. And of course I'll keep you up to date with a review and everything once I do. So Thanks so much for watching and uh, let me know if you have any questions and feel free to subscribe. If you want to stay up to date with the rest of my uh, future diamond painting content, I'd love to have you here. Otherwise, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a day that is as amazing as you are and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.